Hello everyone, it's Gwathorn from Gwathorn's Games and today I am running the Heroic Plus 2 Champion. Now I just thought I've got to pick up 8 creatures and I thought I'd spend a little bit of time talking about what's currently happening in, in Umbar as well. But uh, I thought I'd just pick up some quests around here if there any of them are... are Deserted archers, sneaks, that's a lot of those, but uh, probably too many for what I want. So 4K still needs to have its font size increased every time you log in. It's unfortunate. Uh, I'll just see if I can find something better than that one. So, uh, the I've been, been playing some of... Uh, the Corsairs of Umbar with a uh, burglar just to have a bit of a look around and um, okay Helga is not giving me anything so let's go and take some things on ah, I was going to show what my build was okay so I'm running blue line and I've got, I'm pushing it all the way down into yellow. Now I've been finding a lot of these, a lot of, there's a lot of power issues at the moment. So I'm actually going to start pushing some points into second wind, um, mainly because it, it is making a difference um, for the blue line character, blue line champion. Um, but yeah, I, I've got a link in, in the description of, of what the uh, the actual build is but I'm, I'm going to start building the the second wind a little bit um, I've got some fairly normal to the defensive versions of the traits and they're fairly straightforward okay so and I'm going to pick up the any items that are around any ore that's around so let's get some stinging bees I think now you may have may have noticed that my DPS is quite significantly down as soon as I started hitting on trying to take out here's I have Sauron okay so yep yeah, I'm definitely running heroic at least fearless Okay, that's one. Good. I'm going to take out anything at this point. Because I want that. I only want those eight, but let's go and have a look at the quests over here. So I'll pick up the side quest just to see if I can get some orcs. 12 orcs. Yeah, okay. 12 orcs will do. Won't necessarily do them all in, in the one sitting. But, um, yeah, 12 orcs will do. Should be an orc just up there. Yep, good. Yeah. So uh, as, as I've been, as, as I was saying, I've, I've got this. The, they've changed the level. Let's get a bit of health back. They, they changed the crafting requirements for. Uh, the level 141 gear um, so now it requires only six umbari ingots and you don't need the sea stones but you'll see that there's a primary essence and a basic essence and that primary essence needs to be level 141 to be able to to use it um, the only problem is
The only problem is that uh, level all the boxes, all the essence boxes prior to Umba do not work in that slot. The only slot that actually works is the Umba ones. Um, I'll, I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just get another one of these stragglers. So the fact that you've got those two slots is nice, but there is no might in that. Well, actually, once I've got the, uh, the eight of them, Here we go with another one. Bubble back, thank you. Okay, so, uh, as I was saying, so the humblers, the Delvis Humble Box, which is what many people would have, um, they, they're fine for the primary essence slot. They're fine for the basic essence slot because they don't have a maximum level. But the essences of might have a maximum level of 140. So they cannot slot into any of this level 141 gear. Um, so that's the humble, the humble one. Then there's the Winter Delvers box, which is only level 140, maximum level of 140 and minimum level of 140. So that can't, cannot fit in, but you can get crits and finesse for the basic ones. So the only thing that can fit into that primary essence is the new Seafarer's Humble Essence box, which I'll just, yep, yeah, my level's too low. I can't open it but that's the one that has the might in it. So you have to get those. Now, the only problem with that is that at the moment, the only place you can get that the only place you can get those boxes, there's two or three of them drop in questing and that's where I've got those so far just from questing around. But the, yes, quest rewards. Um, so the only other place that you can get that is bartering with the, there's a, there's a Gondor renewed barter vendor um, in Pelagir and there's one in Dol Amroth and it's about 30 reward points so 30 of the reward quest reward um, how many we got left yeah about 30 of those so I'll just take another another straggler out. And it, it's kind of okay because there's not much you can actually get from that vendor except cosmetics. There is one item that is worth it. Well, not three items that are worth it and that's for the cook. So you can actually get the cook's, gear, cook's um, equivalent of the might, agility and will cook recipes when you've got kindred status, I think it is, um, which I have got and I have distributed to my cooks. But the other thing, the only other thing you can get is those humbler boxes, the, the, the humble essence boxes, really. Okay, let's head back. The cooking one for level 141 is actually just auto bestowed. Okay, so let's head back, hand this in. 
which you know it, it the the other way of doing it no what I want is this one and I think I have to go yep that way I have to go up the hill okay I'll go around um, if if you come to actually crafting the the essence crafting what you get from this is a minimum level of 150 so you can't craft using those red sea stones any of the essences for use in those level 141 um, armor you can only put those in you can only do that when you're level 150 and of course well not of course but i don't run any of my characters once they hit level cap so i can't craft any of those Yeah, search for some sort of bellicor by the shores south of Anak. So let's go and do that. So yeah, it, it, it means that those red sea stones are uh, absolutely useless to me now. Um, I can't craft anything with them and the essence boxes I get with them are level 150 and of course I don't run level 150. So that's the way that works so I've stopped running Woe of the Willow except it is actually on the weekly instance guide at the moment but uh, I don't want to go through there I have to go around and down to the other side avoid everything that I can get my hands on so yeah I, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm doing questing and I will the 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 main problem that you have with that gear and, and I'll, I'll actually show you there is no might in that gear so you have to get the primary essence of might for a heavy armored character um, so you have to get it and the only way you can get it at this point is either being level 150 or bartering for it or doing a K, getting it occasionally as quest drops. Okay, 10 Advanc. I'm not going to do the Advanc. Now, I was hoping that they'd, they'd fix that in this, this latest update um, when they do the maintenance, but they're not actually doing any updates with this maintenance that's just gone past for when, when you've got this so here we go there's Gimli abandoned campfire yep bag of dirty clothes and the boat now let's have a talk to Gimli so we're trying to track down, yep, could have belonged to anyone, and we saw him die, so it's not going to be him. He may have family though. So yeah, these marks of renewal, 30 of them will be able to be bartered for one of these Seafarer Humble boxes, but you're going to need 13 of them. To, to fill that up because you can't get the Gondor one, 14 including the bow, um, 14 times 30 is enough, sorry, 14 times 30 is 420. Okay, now the other option of course is these these take basic essences because it's level 140 but as soon as they hit level 141 they're going to have the same problem. Okay, so let's go back to Arnark. Um, yeah, so, so 430 of those. Now I've been questing and I've done, I've, I've quested all the way to um, Dol Amroth and the, I've actually got 
15 of them on this character so far, but I've got 380 or so on another one. So I will almost have enough for one set at level 141 um, by having done a lot of questing. Yep, some imposter, or yep. And let us continue on to the crossing of Eru. But hey, the 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 vast majority. If you do the epic, if you do the epic storyline. Um, the, there is a significant amount of gear that does drop, um, and it is, I think I'm going the right way. Yes, it doesn't matter whether I jump off here or whether I could jump off anywhere else. So I might as well jump off here. Uh, there is a lot of gear rewards or enough gear rewards. In, uh, in running the epic to to not have to worry about and it's level 501 uh, rewards so you don't actually need to do the crafting you can get away with you can get away with um, just doing the epic so I, I will probably do the epic. Um, well, I'm definitely doing the epic with it. Oh, I've got to get off. So yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of quest rewards in the actual epic itself. Um, vast majority of your well, not vast majority, probably about half to two thirds. Okay, let's go and have a look if we have seen these before. There's the armor of the usurper, which went to Pelon gear. We will see that. The blood spilt in these waters during the kin strife changed the lady of Eri. Let's talk to Gimli. It is a good story so far as it goes. It was a good story. Uh, it was it was definitely a good story and definitely directed that the armor of usurper be sent to Pelagi for safekeeping. Castamir's armor, yes. So we have to go and have a look. If you wish to be of use, you can oppose the dangers to be found between here and Hollow. Yeah, so that's what we have to do next. We're going to go and knock off some critters on the way to Pelagia. Actually, Halak, but still. As long as they're not elites, it should be okay. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'll find out which slots are, are actually filled from questing and from, from the epic. And uh, there, there's been no armor drop from any of the side quests or no quests, rewards. 
so I'm not particularly worried about looking up any of those because I've done I've done all of the side quests so far to Dal Dol Amroth. No gear drops from those. So now do I need this sniper account? Sniper counts. Okay, good. Um, so it's only the epic that I that I have to worry about, and that's still Gorgoroth. So I'm not really going to worry about that. Again, I'm doing damage reduction as a form of uh, uh, doing stuns as a form of damage reduction whenever I can. It's been nice. I haven't actually had to use the uh, unbreakable at this point, but I will use it just because. Let's see if we've got any more foes on the way. A oh, lynx. Okay. And I won't get into the umbar or until I actually get past Lin here. That's that's where it starts. Where where Gondor renewed ends and the Umbar starts. But as I said, for, for crafting purposes it's it's not not actually going to be that useful to me except for making up the empty slots slot pieces um, the level 480 gear is is reasonably good especially the purple version the tier the teal versions of the level 480 gear is actually as good if not better than the the uncommon crafted gear so if you've got any teal account bound gear then that's definitely worth, definitely worth keeping and using, especially to level. I picked up some teal jewelry from Sarge Fawn. actually using it um, and that is basically as good because it it's, it's basically as good as the um, as the equivalent level 141 gear I'm just that's five I need one more oh, I think that bear might be it no it's not an elite but I'll just show you that in a second some damage reduction. That yellow line just gives you that little bit of extra, little bit of extra, uh, extra blade skill damage and extra healing, which is just just gives you just that little bit extra legs with the uh, with the blue blue line champion. Now I was going to show you that. So I've got the. That's the equivalent, 505, um, the Handmade Sailor's Charm Bracelet. Um, the Vitality is about the same. There's Fate in it. Um, finesse is okay. Crit's okay. So the, in fact, with the extra Finesse in replace of the uh, two slots, it's, it's close enough to be, to, to, use it in place of the handmade sailor's charm bracelet especially if you cannot use the might 
um, if you don't have the might then because you don't have the um, enough barter to be able to to get hold of that many you know 420 odd barter um, tokens then you may as well just stick with the purples and the uh, and the teals you, you need to have that might um, for the character to to really function especially since they've changed they've changed around the power um, requirements and they've, they've they've made the primary stuff a little bit more important um, now that now with umba with, with the umba changes so it it's it become more important to to just use that level for the 480 gear and just try and get your hands on those uh humble the the, the seafarers humble essence boxes when the time comes um there's even slots in the crossbow and things like that so so it's it's 466 of them that's a that's a lot Okay, um, I will hand this in in the next video, but thank you all for watching. Um, I, I've really been enjoying doing the questing. It's just sometimes this character, sometimes the, the crafting and sometimes the, the essences are a little bit messy. I would love to just put the old level 140 might gear might essences in there and just because i'm a casual player just t not have the extra um but and i've got plenty of them um to to play with i've got you know i've got one two three four five six six of them just sitting in my shared storage let alone anything else um i just can't use them on these characters okay everyone Thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye all.